Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, another from the next year. Junk. I'm a mess. Um, today's tutorial will be on um, Never Shout Nevers. Another one of my favorite artists, the artist that I listen to a lot. Never Shout Nevers. Um, can't stand it. It's actually a pretty easy song to learn, actually, to be honest. Simple little chord, simple little open chord. Um, maybe like I would say like five chords at the most, but they're simple little easy little open chords. So um let me give you the preview first. Got a little request for this song, so go like this. Baby, I love you, I'm never going to let you go. The more I think about the more I want to let you know that everything you do is super fucking cute and I can't stand that. I've been searching for a girl that's just like you Cause I know that your heart is true Baby, I love you, I never want to let you go The more I think about, the more I want to let you know That everything you do is super duper cute And I can't stand out Okay Let's get started. First of all, this is my crappy guitar. This is the guitar that's just not all that. It's just this is the one that I, I let my other guitar, my guitar um, room in the guitar room at my school. So not that important. This is my crappy one. Just deal with it today. Just follow the chords. All right, first chord is a G chord. All right, it's kind of crappy, but it's okay. So the G chord, it's gonna start with this baby. Alright, baby, baby. You can do it. This is how I do it. You know how to palm mute. Baby, I love you. I never wanna let you go. The more I think about the more. Alright, so G, G chord. You don't know your G chord. It's index finger on the fifth string of the second fret, middle finger, third string, I mean sixth string of the third fret. Ring finger on the second string of the third fret, pinky finger right under the ring finger on the first string of the third fret. Easy, first of the chord. Alright, so it's like baby. This thing, yeah, I would like to go like this. Down up, down up, down up, down up. If you know how to do it, take it slow at first. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Take it slow at first if you know how to do it. Alright, so G. Baby, I love C, the C chord. If you don't know your C chord, it's right there. Index finger on the second string of the first fret. Middle finger on the fourth string of the second fret. And then your ring finger can be right there on that fifth string of the third fret. All right, that's a C chord. If you want to do a full like C chord, all you do is just put this. It's not really different. I play it like this. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, all right? So C chord, okay? So it's baby, I love you, I never. All right, baby, I love you, I never. A minor chord, A minor chord. The funny part is, is when you're at C, you don't do nothing but move the ring finger right under the middle. You keep these two fingers right. You keep these two fingers right here where they at with the C chord. So all you have to do is you put the um, ring finger right under the middle finger, which should be on the third string of the second fret. All right. Okay. So, so far we got baby, I love you, I never wanna let you go. Now the D chord might be a little bit tougher, but it's not really on the tip. So, the D chord is index finger on the third string of the second fret, middle finger on the first string, not the second, the first string, that means this last little string, on the first string of the second fret, and the ring finger, of course, is in the middle, right there on the second string of the third fret. Okay, so that's the first part. You got the first part down. So the first part should go, Baby, I love you. I never want to let you go. The more I think about, the more I want to let you know that everything you do is super duper cute and I can't stand that. All right. Now when it gets into the I've been searching for, like, uh, Right? So E minor, new chord. E minor, all right? E minor, all it is is the middle finger on the, what is that? On the fourth string of the second fret. Then 
index finger right above it on the fifth string of the second fret. Then it's back to that D. D. Okay, so back to the D. E minor. Now it's a new chord, A. Alright, so A. I, I do A. You can either do A like this with these three fingers or with these three fingers. It really doesn't matter. I do it with these three. So my hands are linky and tall. So A is basically, this is how I do it. A is basically pinky on the second string, pinky on the second string of the um, second fret, ring finger right above the pinky on the third string of the second fret, and middle finger right above the ring finger on the fourth string of the second fret. Uh, that's all right, so it's I've been searching for Back to that G, back to the beginning. Baby, I love you, I never wanna let you go. The more I think about, the more I wanna let you know that everything we do is super duper cute, and I can't stand it. All right, and that's that's basically all the chord you need for this song. Well, there is one part of the song, the little solo part. Let me see if I can skip on to that solo part. I love you, I never want to let you go. The more I think about, the more of. All right. So, yeah, that was it. That was basically like the whole song, I would like to say. But then it's like for the other high part, you might want to need to take one, put it on the second fret. Because at the beginning, where it's like, well, not at the beginning, where the part where it's like all quiet and stuff, where he's only saying, baby, I love you, without any of the music, that's when you can sneak your little capo in there and put it on there. And then play the normal little chords again. G, B, A, B. All right, just sneak your cape on the second fret when you're doing the little part. All right, so uh, have fun with it and uh, be cool. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out. Peace out.